So hello and welcome to my YouTube channel all about repairs and DIY stuff for around the house. So today I'm going to be looking at a electrical connector block by a company called Wago. Uh, they've been going for a while now and I've been using them for years and if you're an electrician you've probably been using these for years as well. But for the guys out there that uh, are new to electrical work or just wanting to know a bit more about this style of connector then this is the video for you. Um, so if you're in the UK you will be almost certainly familiar with this style of block which we refer to as a chocolate block and this is the old sort of style and way of connecting uh, electrical connections um, it has a brass connector in the center is it insulated with the uh, plastic as you can see there and you have a couple of screws on the top so that's the traditional way of doing it and we're going to be looking at the wago style connector and i've got two here and i'll do a top down shot uh, in a bit uh, with a camera that you can see behind me uh, but these are the um, style of connector I'm talking about uh, and this is by a company called Wago. You can get uh, different manufacturers now and like I said they have been going for years in this style. This is the classic uh, and this is the newer version and I think this is a 221 model. Uh, but I'm going to be looking at that and how to terminate these, um, how to terminate these correctly how to check them for continuity once you have got it terminated and just a general overall of this style of connector and how to check for the correct spec on the Wago website. Okay, so if that's something you are interested in then please do carry on watching this video. So before we get started on the video, just need to mention I am not sponsored by Wago or any other manufacturer that I refer to in this video. It is purely here as a tutorial and a how to sort of help video if you like. If I do get around to putting the links for these particular clips in the description below, they will be an affiliate link, which basically means that you don't pay any more money for them. It just means I get a small cutback in the profit that goes towards uh, helping my channel. So all that being said, let's get into the video and have a look at these uh, Wago connectors. So. This is my standard kit that I cart around to most of my jobs with me. I think that's the 221 I've got in my hand there. Uh, and this is a 221 as well, but it's a slightly different model. So it's, um, it's a higher amperage and it'll take a bigger wire. So I'll just try and keep a general selection really that gets me through most jobs, through low voltage uh, lighting circuits uh, and stuff like that. Uh, and I also tend to uh, put the cards down from the box that they come in uh, and shove it down the side of my uh, box like this one here. Uh, and that just lets me identify if I'm running low and I can just go straight away and get the same code again. And you can see on the side of the box it gives you a general overview. So you can see it's got the picture of the wires on here. So this one will take a solid and a stranded wire. Uh, it'll take everything up to a 4 mil uh, wire. And it's also got three ports and that's the naming convention on it. So the clip is a 221 and it's a 413. So it's a 221 is a model number. The 4 stands for the 4 mil. And then the three at the end stands that, uh, for that it'll take three wires. Uh, and that's the particular one I've just lifted up there. So I usually shove that down the side like so and just keep it in a box like I say. So when I run low, uh, I can uh, easily order more. So this is the Wago website. Uh, and you can see the one that I was showing you then. That was the compact model. Uh, and then the ones in the right of my box that I've uh, just indicated to the right there with my hands on. Uh, they are the classic model. Now, and they're slightly different um, the, the way that they work with the, the levers do pop up and they do clamp down so they can both take a stranded wire. Uh, but if you've seen the pushing models of this style of connector, they can only take the solid wire. Uh, and that's where I've seen some people make mistakes when I've gone to jobs and it's got um, a stranded wire pushed into the pushing connector. And the best thing to do is just go onto the Wago website, which I'm showing you here, and just have a look around, If you, especially if you're specking it for a certain voltage job or a certain um, size of wire that you need to use uh, and make sure that you get the correct clip for the job that you are doing because it's all very good at using these fast quick electrical connections um, but they also need to be the right spec so they don't start uh, burning stuff out and and causing uh, electrical fires okay so looking at the clips on the side of the clips you can see the one on the left hand side the compact clip has some spec on the left hand side there is more information on the right which i'll show you further in the video and you've also got the classic which shows you the information on the back of the clip um, so you can get the model numbers and some details off the clip it's really good that they put all the information there so if you're trying to match up you can do by just simply having a look at the clip and also looking around the sides of the classic 
uh, waggle clip you can see that there is some more information that, that you can uh, get off the clip itself so like i said earlier if you're trying to match up you can um, have a look on the clip that you already have and see if the information is there that you need and also that you can re refer back to the website uh, to obviously check the spec and see if it's correct for the actual use that you're using it for on the back of the classic clip is the really important bit of the gauge uh, and you can see it says 10 mil there and this is how far we're going to cut back the wire uh, so it doesn't leave any of the actual wire exposed when it's in its uh, entry point in the actual waggle clip itself so we'll get the levers open and then we will get the um, wire cut back and I'll show you how to terminate these off. Really easy, really quick and a real easy, good time saver. Brilliant tool compared to the old um, small flat headed screw. So I've got a bit of wire here that I'm going to use uh, to terminate in. And the way that we measure off is the gauge on the back, back of the classic waggle clip. You just hold the wire up like so. Put your thumb and forefinger against it so you can get a measurement. You can actually measure and mark it if you're not comfortable doing this, but that measurement is ideal for doing what we're going to do now. So just hold the actual wire up, put your thumb up against it. And again, if you're not comfortable stripping wires back, I suggest you buy a, a wire stripper. Obviously, I've been doing this for years, so I'm just going to use a pair of snips. And all I'm going to do is scour the insulation on the wire by not putting much pressure and then just pull it back and it just pops off. And that now is to the 10 millimeters that it's indicated on the back of the waggle clip. And you can just double check the measurements okay by offering it up. And then you put it into, make sure it's straight, make sure it's not bent in any way. Put it into the actual waggle clip and then push the clip down. And that's as simple as it is. That's the termination made on a waggle clip. So you can see how quick and easy it is compared to sort of using the old um, brass screw coupling method. Um, so it's a great tool. And also on the clips, there is a test point for checking for continuity or checking for voltage or whatever it is that you're working on or testing for. Uh, so for this particular example, obviously I'm just gonna check for continuity because I haven't got it connected to any power. Uh, but this brown, for example, would be my live wire uh, and I'd need to access uh, to test that to make sure I've got a circuit. Uh, so normally it'd be sticking it in the end of your connector or whatever you do, touching the wire. These have a, a little test point. If I can just get the camera to focus and we'll indicate with a screwdriver. But there's a small test point on both style of connector. So that's the test point on this one. Uh, and it just gives you a safe place to uh, put your multimeter to check, uh, like I said, the voltage or whatever it is you're checking, uh, amperage or whatever it be. Uh, it's just a nice, uh, safe way to check uh, when these clips are terminated off uh, when you're finished or as you're doing your job. So I'm just going to bring the multimeter in and let's um, indicate uh, and show you the tester going in. So let's just put it on. And that's just to show you that obviously um, we are up and running so let's check the continuity so I'm just putting it on one end of the wire and then I'm going to put the in fact I'm just trying to keep my fingers out of the way of the camera so you can see what's going on um, but basically put your end one end of your multimeter into the test point on your classic clip like so making sure it's straight uh, and again if you're uh, and if I just touch the other end and you can hear there obviously the circuit being made. So that's how to uh, use the classic style uh, waggle connector. So I think if we move on to the compact one now, uh, and this is the model is the 221 that I'm using. And they're all the same, uh, as in they operate the same, obviously they're not the same spec. Um, they have the two levers uh, on this particular one, has two levers, so it's a two port, uh, and they just flip up the same as the classic, uh, slightly a bit more sturdier on this, uh, this style of connector. Uh, and the, this is the three port one and again small little levers that pull up and then when you pop them down they clamp the cable in position uh, these particular one this 221 can take a solid wire and a stranded wire uh, and if we can just get the camera there just so you can see them both and you can see the one on the right is a slightly bigger one and that is for a bigger wire uh, it can take a I think it's slightly more on the amperage I can't remember exact so I'll put the pictures up on the side so you can see uh, like so so yeah one of them's a 32 amp and one of them's 41 amp so you can see there so even though they both start with the 221 um, 
one of them is a slightly different amperage uh, and also the back end of the code so the 221 is the model number then you've got the 413 and the 612 for example the 612 takes a six millimeter uh, solid or stranded core and it's got two entry points for your cables uh, so that's the way to identify them so let's have a look at the uh, that particular model the two port one and it has a measuring gauge on the side uh, which i've just shown on that uh, earlier picture and all you do is hold the wire up to that because that is the exact that is to scale uh, so you just put your wire up against it then you get your snips and like I said uh, with the earlier one use um, wire strippers if you're not comfortable with a pair of snips pull it give it a pull and then make sure it's straight and then obviously you can check your measurement against the actual side of the actual WAGO uh, electrical clip itself so you can see there we're pretty much spot on flip the clip open and then you can push the wire into the entry, check it's in and clipped in. And the great thing about these uh, clear sort of polycarbonate ones is you can see the actual uh, termination on the back of the clip itself. So you can see there nice and clearly that the actual termination has been made and it's right to the end of the clip. So again, that's the compact Wago clip is really nice uh, unit as well. So I'll just bring in the classic one just so you can compare it. The test point uh, on the classic one is in a different position to the compact clip. So I'll put the classic to one side and then the compact uh, clip has a test point on the actual end of the unit itself. Now the camera doesn't seem to want to focus on this bit, but it's just on the end here. I think because it's clear plastic, it just um, it's getting confused trying to focus. Uh, so I will just put the obviously the multimeter uh, in the end of it so you can you can see where the hole is, but. Uh, I will just try and indicate again. I'm going to focus. Oh, it's just here, the just there, the test point. Uh, there's one blank and then one uh, one open and one close at the end. So, like you should always do, let's just test the tester first, like so. And obviously now we know it's working, so we can test our circuit, and then we will put the end of the multimeter in the test point on the waggle clip, like so, and then touch. And the blue obviously would be neutral normally, but we'll touch it. And there you can hear that the test point works just great. We just hold it to the camera just so you can see a bit better and just see where the test point exactly is. Uh, and if I just put it to its side, you might get a better view. Okay, so there we have it. That's the end of my overview of the uh, Wago electrical wire connector. I hope the video has been helpful and also hopefully it's been educational for the beginners out there uh, if this has this video has at all been helpful please do subscribe to my channel because these channels only survive with subscriptions please do hit me with any comment below they are always appreciated and please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos i make for this channel and thanks again for watching nose nose on youtube